Hello, and welcome back to Star Wars Minute. It's the daily podcast where we analyze, scrutinize, and celebrate the Star Wars movies one minute at a time. I'm Pete the Retailer from PeteTheRetailer.fun. <laughs> I'm Alex Robinson from AlexRobinson.fun. I'm Ken Plume from KenPlume.com, and I'm super fun. That's true. Dot super fun. Dot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks again, uh, Ken, for coming back. We are uh, we're still in the midst of uh, of Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. Um, today we're talking about Minute Forty Eight, which starts with uh, Poe Dameron asking Zori Bliss to help him crack C three PO's head open, and it ends with uh, Zori Bliss saying "Walkers," which again made me think of you, Alex, because uh, because I need a walker. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get to the walkers. First, we're, um, they're, they're negotiating Babu, but they, they need to talk to Babu Frick. Mm-hmm. And, um, what a I like, drop. yeah, well, I like that he's, he's like, All right, we, we need to talk to Babu Frick. And she's like, oh, Babu only works for the crew. So it's like a member of their gang. So it's like, I, 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 it's interesting that he first felt like he had to include the last name. Mm-hmm. Is there another Babu in the crew somewhere? Hmm. Or was he just worried that, like, like, is it a common enough name? Well, I mean, Frick might be. There might be a Jerry Frick and a... <laughs> right. Um, Bobby Frick. We don't know how many Fricks uh, are in the crew. Well, but if, if there's Bobby Frick and Babu Frick, that's confusing. Yeah, that would, be, that would be tough. Unless one is like, it's like his son. You know, it's like where they do, like, just slight um, differences in the name. Well, I'm imagining this whole drama of... of are you, gonna, are you ever going to take up the, the family business of repairing droids? <laughs> Not you, right. Dad. That's Bobby. Bobby Frick is the one who's rebelling against. Yeah, I don't want your life. It <laughs> is weird. Now, I didn't really think about it, but it is weird that he does refer to the person by the first name. You know, but... Uh, well, that he does. Of course, it would be weird to go, like, we, we need first. Frick. Yeah. That, that, right. uses the, just the, that uses both names. That's the weird part of it. So Right, at first. Unless that, uh, like, unless they just all used both names all the time. Like, I need to talk to Babu Frick. Babu Frick only works for the crew. That's fine. Yeah. But for him to say, like, hey, we need to talk to Babu Frick, and then her being like, Babu only works for the crew. It's like, wait a minute. She's on a first name basis with, with Babu since, yeah. since uh, Poe left. A first name Bob basis. Um, so in this part, she says, uh, you know, Babu, Babu only works for the crew. And then mm-hmm. Ray, this is where Ray feels the need to jump in and go, what crew? Like she has to become, th- make herself part of the conversation rather than just, you know, with, and then. Uh, and Finn's like, that's my job. What crew? <laughs> right. Yeah. Where's Ray? No, it's his job to just <laughs> shout at people. Yeah. I'm, I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay, good. And that's when she gets to expose that uh, Poe used to be a spice runner, which I guess they did right. not know. They did not know about that. And, um. Spice runners are basically drug, drug, run, drug, not dealers necessarily, but drug smugglers, right? Right. That's, I think we so. think that yeah. that's kind of what they, um, do you think we'll ever see, seems like, seems to be the analog. Do you think we'll ever see a story that is like centered around that? Or is that too, is that a little too, too real, too noble, too R rated for what is mm. basically a, you know, a family. I mean, franchise. we had the spice trade in Book of Boba Fett. I know, but it was, pretty it was heavily. very vague. You didn't see people, you know. It Actually was, doing spice? Or just. Is that what right, you. Yeah. Like, it, it wasn't 100% clear what was exactly. Like, if you didn't, if you weren't like, oh, yeah, they're doing drugs. You could think, oh, it's spice the same way Columbus went to the Far East for spice or whatever. You know what I mean? Right. Um, anyway. Or Dune. Or Dune. Right. Which in Dune, it's also a drug, yeah. but it's also, but it's like differently, like it's like, well, yes, but it's also this, this other thing. Oh, it's like a, it's like a Lance Armstrong performance enhancing kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. I just wonder if we'll ever see any of our characters totally strung out on spice. You know, it's all mm. smeared all over their face and they're all. Um, right. Or just get like, like a handful uh, accidentally thrown in their face and then suddenly them freaking out. <laughs> That's the only way you can actually yeah. show. I've someone never done spice before. Is, is if it accidentally <laughs> they accidentally snorted yeah. a bunch of spice, <laughs> right? <laughs> and and uh, White Rabbit starts playing, and the camera zooms in to Dolly's house, or vice versa. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Ray, Ray, and Finn both seem very judgmental that that Poe was a uh, smuggler. 
Well, they seem at least surprised. I don't yeah. know if there's judgment there, but they're surprised. Like in the 15 minutes we've spent together, you haven't <laughs> right, yeah. talked about I, your history of spice running. <laughs> I already declared you my best friend uh, when I met you for like five minutes in the desert or, or when we were escaping the thing and then crashed in the desert. So like, You gave me a jacket. I'm, I'm I thought we had a thing. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't tell me about so that. So it's not so much he's shocked that he's a drug smuggler, so much as he didn't like he didn't tell him about it. He's more yeah, hurt. It's a communication that, so. issue okay. more than the revelation. I see. Hmm. So yeah, that this makes was sense. a this was Good a thing. heavy exposition scene, but weirdly yeah. useless information. Is, it's fine. It's 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 additional color, but it's just it's weirdly delivered when you know that very poor stormtroopers when it comes to actually observing the area around them in this intense search are, are having this search. What we just saw, what 15 feet from them, 20 feet from them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a weird beat to take. Like this is a pure comedy beat and an extended right. comedy beat in a lot of ways. Starting off with yeah, the, the comedy beat of crack your head open. And then it goes into this weird diversion about the spice running. Yeah. And then the, the weird confrontation between her and Ray that ends in instant bonding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought that was, well, the, there are no stormtroopers walking the comedy beat. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> They're walking the fashion beat. I thought that <laughs> line, the, when Ray, so Ray, so they start, Ray starts fighting everyone. Uh, all the armed people just stand around watching this go on rather than they all have guns in their hands. I don't know why they don't just shoot mm -hmm. her, but um, so she, she knocks uh, Zori bliss on the ground and then Zori bliss is like, not that I care, but I think you're okay, which not that you care, not that yet, yeah, but not I that think you care. Okay. But I thought that was such a weird, like why, why does she think she's okay? Because she's now beating everyone up. I think you're okay too. <laughs> Uh, pretty much, right? That she, I mean, she was asking the right questions and then can handle herself. And so it's like she got her respect. Because she was about to turn her into the, Zori was threatening to, to, to snitch to the stormtroopers and say, hey, this is that person. Right. They're all, they'll know that they're looking for Ray. Um, and that's, so if she, if she's asking the right questions, she just proved herself in combat and she obviously pissed off the empire enough to warrant being wanted. So those are all things that Zori bliss, Zori bliss likes. So anyone who's wanted by the but, empire, she's on their side. But that enemy of my enemy one, is my friend. It's one of those yeah. things yeah. in rise of Skywalker that feels like those, that sort of foot fully down on the accelerator moments of if this had been given a half beat more of explaining the context of like, this is Zori's little test. For anyone she meets, and now you're in good graces. Mm -hmm. It it just yeah. it it seemed like all of this is blows right past in rapid fire dialogue, and the audience doesn't ever get a beat to go. Wait, what? Well, I, I, which I think serves it well. I, I, it's just we don't we don't need to stop and think about that. Just keep going. Sure, they they fought and they're on the same team. It's fine. It's like it's like a Marvel comic almost. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, when you put it like that, you put it into a proper context for me. To, <laughs> It does remind me of a Marvel comic in that it it kind of has a trope that I'm really getting tired of in general, which is the two friends meeting each other and they have to be enemies for a little bit and then they become fr like, they, you know, they're going to become friends. And so it's, you know, and right. granted, this is a trope that's been around a long time. We saw Lando and Han pretend to be enemies for a second there on the Cloud City mm -hmm. thing. But I just feel like it's I guess we recently just saw it on some show uh, that I don't remember. One of the Star Wars things we were talking about and uh, maybe Rebels. But anyway, yeah, Seb and Ezra. Yeah, so um, let's drop that one. But you know, if if two friends meet each other, just have them be friends. Don't have them pretend to be enemies, just so you can have a two second fight scene, right? Or let them be enemies. But Ray does say sure. she cares. Ray 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 wants Zori Bliss to like her. She quotes her mentor Luke Skywalker <laughs> when she says, "I care." <laughs> yeah, which I love. That I am holding this lightsaber very close to your face, though. Yeah. And I need you to know that I care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you going, what are you going to say in that moment? <laughs> <laughs> right. She's like, I care. Oh, I care. <laughs> yeah. No, I still think you're a jerk. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could just cut her hand off right there, but mm. and then she would have had to put it, saving heal that. It. Right. Do you think if Ray was going to heal, suppose she cut off Zori's hand and then mm -hmm. was like, oh, what I feel so bad. Let me heal you. Does she, like, 
regenerate from like the stump? Does she regenerate a new hand, or does she take the hand that was cut off and hold it there, and then let it kind of? Re- Could she make a whole new Zori Bliss from the hand? Whoa, Wolverine mm. style. I don't know. Mm. Hopefully, this this power will be explored uh, in the future. Could she cut off Zori Bliss's hand, then restore her hand, and then grow another Zori Bliss from? Would she the have hand? to go to Babu Frick to restore her memories <laughs> to the hand Zori? Right. <laughs> This. Well, they'd have to. They'd have, first. They have to kind of, you know, access the memory so they could talk to the hand. Oh. <laughs> by themselves, dude. hand solo. <laughs> anyway, uh, Zori Bliss gets kind of poetic and uh, and odd. Like like the, all the backstory that we need to know from this thing. And she says, I'm "Still digging out of the hole you put me in when you left to join the resistance." Mm-hmm. And I don't know if she means that like literally, like, a literal like how hole? how. How is Poe leaving inconvenience her? Unless he like saddled her with some debt or something like that, or or did maybe that was it? Maybe he like dumped his. They went in on a time and, Yeah, um, he like she had to like go call all the places and get all the all the bills kind of transferred over her name, and then she couldn't pay the other one because she couldn't access the account because Poe's name was still on it. Hint that he had it. chosen. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I don't know what 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 kind of. What kind of inconvenience was she subject to because Poe's decision to join the resistance? But uh, we'll never know. Surely this had to be addressed in a comic or like a one-shot standalone comic before the movie came out or something. There must have been some. Oh, maybe. Uh, Aren't there Uh, some? Doesn't this scene like specifically contradict a lot of Poe's backstory that had been established up to that point? As far as Um, introducing this whole spice running thing into his backstory? With like his, him growing up in the rebellion and all that, yeah. Well, I think it's still you know. This is like he grew his, up in the his rebellion. Criminal went, Rumspringer. Yeah, did went and kind of fell in with that crew for a while, and then came back and joined up. He was he was like my a, spice summer. Exactly. There you go. Um. But yeah, I, I um, I like her her kind of weird maudlin poetic uh, kind of yeah, yeah I'm still digging out of the hole you put me in when you left to join the resistance and then they an emotional I forgot hole. how they get to something but then they uh, like she signals them to attack her, her, her goons there by saying Jakana now that is not the name of the person that she's signaling to that is a word that means like attack or something like that I had to look it up in the transcript. Yeah. D-J-A-K apostrophe K-A-N-K-A-H. D-J. D-J. Yeah, don't join. <laughs> A-K, which is... Um, no, uh, Jack... Jackana. And then I like... I love that Poe was... <laughs> like, no, please don't touch Jackana. Like, it's a good... It's a good little gag thrown in there. Yeah. Um, but it still didn't clarify whether or not that was the person for me. I had to go look it up. The, the, I have Alex. Did you have the names of the gang here? No. There's there's three. Do you have, you have a- three members of Zori Bliss's uh, the gang crew. here. It's their crew. The crew. crew. It's the crew. Uh, the Kajimi Spice Runners. Uh, you got Joth there, mm-hmm. who's like kind of the main He's muscle. Joth there. Joth. <laughs> He's just there having fun, fun, you know, hanging out. Um, then uh, you have also got uh, Vibo and Vici. Wait, is that two people or one person? Vib- That's two. Vibo and Vici. Okay. Or Vici, Vi- Vi- Vicky. I don't know. Uh, Vibo is cl- pretty easy to pronounce. V i b b o. I V B B O. Are we throwing an apostrophe um, into this last name? Is no, that- no apostrophes to be found in any of these names. This is hmm. this is the outer room. We can't afford apostrophes <laughs> to build their own. Um, <laughs> apostrophes like droids are rare. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Vici, V I C I I. I say that Vici, but it could be Vicky. It could be Vi Vici. I don't know. Oh, I wish it was Vicky. Vici. Vicky. Let's go with yeah, Vicky. She's a voice activated child identicon. Right? <laughs> um. Did I, do you know I convinced someone that the show Small Wonder was about a family that made their child pretend to be a robot? Oh, wow. Anyway. Yeah, oh, you've never seen the pilot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like <laughs> gaslit them into, um, well, anyway. Um, 
Yes, so uh, the, that's the that's the crew here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't we don't really get to meet them. We don't get to talk to them too much. But they but, all have uh, Babu Frick privileges. They all have Babu Frick privileges because they're in the crew. If they if they're like, hey, I, I got a droid that's uh, you know, whatever you know. What, what, I'm trying to think of what other problems you would have with a droid. You think they have crew be, it's a black market droid smith, so it's got to be something on a, like what what something you want a droid to do that he wouldn't speak. You it. wouldn't just be able to go down to like the you know, the, the robots incorporated store down in the mall. I mean, is there some kind of identifier? Is there like a, a, a crew club kiosk. card that Poe still has? Mm. That's like, you know, expired that he still carries <laughs> in his wallet. And he's got like eight punches on the, uh, you, see, you hack eight droids and he's just two more and he would have gotten the next I'm one I'm here to free. claim my droid. <laughs> yeah. You should have thought of that before you left me in that hole. <laughs> it's probably a Literally. lot of like you know when uh you get you want an iphone but you don't want to tie to a specific phone carrier what are they called is mm. there a term for that yeah jailbreak jailbreak anyway it's probably stuff like that or or unlock is unlock just to, to do the carrier but most of the time you unlock it and you can jailbreak it too to put things on it from wherever you want yeah. not that i know about such things and is babu aware that he's being kept gate kept like this by the crew like, is he wondering why jobs have dried up? Mm. Like, he's not getting the business he should be getting? Is it because it's... <laughs> he's got the... <laughs> What's his he crew He put the thing? sign out front. He's been handing out business cards. He's, like, Offering flyering. free trials. He's got somebody out there. <laughs> Seven-day yeah. free. <laughs> Seven-day free. Uh, <laughs> Troy. Prepare. Get your frick card. <laughs> Get your frick card. Get your frick card. <laughs> um, the, uh... But yes, yeah, so they they so they they have a little fight and then they go and they're like, all right, let's let's yeah. the the we're, a you, little you know fight what? like a little like teeny you. tiny fight. It's a very that's all you need, just a little little tension fight. Yeah, and then they're like, all right, everybody, shut up! They're stormtroopers, and the stormtroopers go walking by. I don't um, I don't have anything specific against this character or this situ the setup and everything like that. But to me, it's one of the things that like is is a weird thing to be throwing in during the last movie of the of the series right you know i feel like this is something that probably could have i mean babu frick we all want to see but i feel like they could have used babu frick without having this whole backstory of poe and everything like that i don't know if they that's was right. part of their thing they wanted to have you know a little. we didn't have to meet five new people to get to babu frick. right yeah so it seemed it seemed like one of those moments in in rise that are very much like a how can we quickly squeeze in backstory and flesh out all of these characters before we get to the end? What do we give Poe? Mm-hmm. Well, let's give this little beat with Poe with this back relationship. And that's then, then we can tick the Poe box. Poe po now has backstory within these films. We, we gave him character moments. That's it. We're done. We, yeah. we Poe right. got his. What about everybody else? No, they can't. Af- we can't afford it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they have to be members of the crew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but uh they the storm stormtroopers that show up they have a little bit of the the stormtrooper problem the modern as we've said the the audio mixing we think it is where it's just a stormtrooper voice that sounds good but seems to come out of nowhere it's just like a it's like a video game where it's just coming out of kind of center channel just like like right at you from who knows could be over there could be over there it doesn't sound like it's actually one of those lines that feels ADR character yeah. as opposed yes. to in situ in the environment right do you know um, where does the stormtrooper um go to the bath <laughs> in the woods of course that's where, why they have the uh-huh. cape <laughs> yeah <laughs> where does the stormtrooper <laughs> voice come out of on their helmets is it those two mm. little things is it the does it actually come out of the mouth is there like a speaker mounted on the head I assumed it was the grill plate in the front. I thought those things, the side were filters, like rebreather kind of filters. I believe it. You like like the idea because it'd be stereo? (laughs) Yeah, right? You can talk out of one side of your mouth. (laughs) They turn their head, whoa, you can really hear it (laughs) going. Uh, Um, Anyway. Yeah, I'm just picturing the... Other like stormtroopers trying to listen to Dark Side of the Moon, but there's not like it's like a, the wrong side. He's only got one speaker, and so you're missing out when it swirls. I mean, it's not a stormtrooper thing, but I could for the visual aspect. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's I a that that oh, kind of clone a trooper speaker. Oh, so not you think the that's mouth, where the voice slightly under the mouth. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. 
Uh, now, uh, this is an opportunity for 501st uh, enthusiasts, people who build their yeah. own Stormtrooper stuff. Where does your speaker go? Where does your sound come out of? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Well, that's what I was going to say is we've been to Celebration and I've seen people wearing Stormtrooper costumes and it does that, you know, oh, we're going like, we're mm -hmm. going to get food now. So it's not like it's, all the, you know, technology. They're not doing the hand well, thing, I though, think, that you were just doing for the their... people listening. You were putting it up like you're holding a walkie-talkie. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I guess that was... I want to say it's on their sound belt. more robotic, like muffled <laughs> than I just went. I think a lot of the cosplayers have it on their belt. I think it's a speaker on their, on their belt, belt with a battery. So, on their belt. Huh. So it's like a, a, a speaker pack that they're wearing. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. So let us know. Let us know. Or, if the, you, or if Vader. You, uh, is Vader coming out of... Do they have a speaker in the chest box? And that's mm, where they're... Mm. That's a good question. For for this week's Ask the 501st moment. Yeah. Where does all the sound come from? <laughs> if I ever had the opportunity to meet Darth Vader and he was talking to me, I'd be putting my hand up like over various parts. <laughs> is that where the speaker is? Is that where the... Oh, here it is. Oh, right. wow. It's on his shoulder. I never Just putting your that. ear to various parts of him. <laughs> just right. to... <laughs> And yeah. then keeping your hand over it and doing it, so it's like, I'm sorry, you relax. <laughs> well, it's more like, resonant <laughs> if you keep it in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> put a put a cup over it too so it's like listen uh um yes. well, well the stormtrooper wherever the noise is coming from is mm -hmm. a is a fun little moment here fun little nugget uh because apparently the the stormtrooper voice it's sam witwer oh yeah and uh he, he's established some continuity of sorts in that in you know, in tribute to the kind of classic, uh, you know, when when uh, Obi Wan is deactivating the tractor beam, and you say, "Hey, you see the new XP thirty eight, um, or BT 16 That's then the uh, he started doing the voices for these stormtroopers. Did uh, in Rogue One and Solo, the stormtrooper that he's talking, the, the stormtrooper that he's voicing, is talking about the T fifteen in. The Obi-Wan Kenobi Shobi, uh, he's talking about the T-16. And then in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, he's talking about the T-17. And here, in, at, the, at the end, in, in Rise of Skywalker, he's asking if the T-18 is online yet. So it's kind of somewhat chronological, like, in, in terms of, like, spanning the saga, the, 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 the T's keep going up. I like which that. Which is kind of neat. Yeah. It did Sam. It's, it's, he didn't do the voices of those other stormtroopers. You're just saying, he, yeah, yeah. I think it's it's. Oh, he, whenever he's in doing oh, the wow. doing a stormtrooper voice, yeah, whenever he he's in a line, okay, about a, a T. Now, and depending on where it is in continuity, yeah. he's changing the number to reflect what it would be. I like that, but I wish he had left a gap because if he just if yeah. if if in what was the last of the of the original trilogy this that well, did it that they said. The BT sixteen. Uh, well, yeah, that's a different thing. In in this, so this is the T fifteen in Rogue One and Solo. The BT okay, so sixteen I think is the but the, the so he does uh, fifteen in Solo and then he does sixteen in Force Awakens. No, that, that's the thing that threw me. So I thought it was, but sixteen apparently is in Obi Wan is at the end of the Obi Wan show, so that really should be before. That should have been a fifteen. Right. Well, my point was the and gap the between been... the original trilogy of time and the new trilogy time. We don't know if, if the company fell on hard times and they weren't cranking out models the same way they were with the consistency. Right. But now if they do, right. if they do a thing, if he shows up in the Mandalorian, they don't have a number they can use because they had it go back to the, the, the 15.2. Yeah. But they do the same thing they <laughs> right. with enterprises and it's the TC 15 a, then yeah. it's the mm -hmm. B the C, then they kick it up to a 16. Oh, I see. Yeah. So okay. Uh, I think that I think the sixteen is because at, at the beginning in Star Wars, sixteen is like brand new, right? So that's what he, that's what he seems to be saying. That the T fifteen is Rogue One and Solo stuff that happened before then. And sixteen is brand new in the in the uh, original trilogy era. So that that is the one that kind of go they go with that for a while, and then by the time they get to Force Awakens. Then the 17 is around, but it's kind of old, and the 18 is just just coming out at the end of that trilogy. So, and this is the BT you're have, talking about. Right? You, no, no, this is just T. The BT is the is the original reference. So it's not he's making a as a nod to that, but he's not in line with the same. What I don't like about that is that system. there's already a something in Star Wars called the T16. Yeah. So 
Not well, that, maybe not that's that the two things about. can't have the same name, but it just seems kind of. Maybe they're talking Listen, about the, you're the just going to take this up with Sam because you're never going to get any resolution <laughs> yeah. on this. Luckily, that's going to be pretty easy to dub over and fix when they when they finally do the ultimate edition. So hopefully they'll do that. Right. Well, then they're going to. It's going to be corporate sponsorship. Yeah. It's going to be like and Matt Lantern will like, do it. Hey, have you uh, have you seen the new Sony? Uh, you know, isopods. <laughs> oh. Well, then I'll have the weird ADR that you love so much about these modern stormtroopers. Then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's it coming from? <laughs> uh, well, speaking of um, throwbacks, this uh, minute ends, much to my delight, with uh, Zori Bliss saying, uh, calling attention to the fact that there is a walker on the loose. And she refers mm-hmm. to it as a walker, uh, which is, of course, yes. my, she does not refer to it as a U-A-T-T or a U-A-T-T. As uh, some people would have it, or as it's known, an urban assault transport. Mm. Oh, oh, sorry, urban assault triped transport because it's a three-legged walker. Never seen those that I. Well, mm. maybe in the it might have been it's in the, the future in the uh, Revenge of the Sith. We might have seen them during the um, a three-legged walker, but don't quote me on it. Uh, I'm no me, expert. You know. But uh, <laughs> well, I um, I think you could. I think you can call it a what? But um. Uh, <laughs> The, I'm glad that what because so the very same stormtrooper line when I heard it and, and then she was like walkers I I like backed it up I'm like oh no did he just did the stormtrooper just say just ask if the ATAT was online because I'm like that would be wrong why would a stormtrooper say that but uh, he doesn't he asked if the T18 was online yet so that that made me happier because I was like oh but um <laughs> yeah and then they they they. Skirt it just by saying walkers, which is just what they're called. They don't they don't care what model it is. It's just it's a walker. Who cares? But that stormtrooper would know. He might. He, he might. His entire family is fixated on that for generations. Oh yeah, but that no, that's on the T. That's that's his own. That's like talking about like he's like in the army talking about his Corvette back at home or something like that. This is the the it's walkers just are, like his dad did and his dad before right, him. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're the walkers. We got walkers. Dynamite. <laughs> That's well, all I got, got for walk 48? right out of this episode, right? So what? Now we got to walk right out of this episode. Oh, good, good transition there. Yeah, it's all I had. We got more. Um, they do some stuff. They're on the run tomorrow. Uh, can can you come back tomorrow? I would love to. I need to see where this goes. All right, it goes up. So, um, does it? If you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you said this is uh, the two forces throughout this entire season for the two of you. <laughs> this, is, this is the glass half full, glass half empty, right? Of this entire season. Um, it, well, it, there's definitely some highlights coming up immediately. And uh, it, hey, if you at home, if you're listening to this or watching this, and you th- uh, have something to say about a highlight that's coming up way later in the season, down the road a bit, why not call our hotline eight day Greedo and uh, tell us about it? Preferably a message that's Short and funny. And, um, like Babu Frick. Like Babu Frick. Make it short and funny like Babu <laughs> short Frick. Short and funny and complete gibberish. Yeah. If you give a Frick, leave a Frick. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and uh, you can do so at 8 Day Greedo. And then we'll meet you back here tomorrow for a brand new episode of Star Wars Minute. Oh, Star Wars Minute. Minute, minute.